This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the set questions. So over here, they tell you the universal set. They say X is the number between 1 to 30 and X is an integer. Integer basically means the whole number. That means you cannot have uh, the fraction or decimal for the X here. All right, and then they also tell you the set P, Q and R over here. They say P, X is the perfect square number. All right, basically it's like one, uh, it's like one, four, nine, and so on. And Q is a number multiple of four. It's like four, eight, twelve, and so on. And R is a number when divided by five and leave two as the remainder. All right, the R will be a little bit complicated here. All right, so at A over here, they ask you to list out the set P, Q, and R. So we kind of need to list out all the set P, Q, R here. And then B, they ask you to find a number when P intersect Q. Also, when uh, ask, ask you to find a number for, for P intersect R. All right, so we, we're going to do the A first. Okay, we want to list out the perfect square number. And then the number must be within this range from 1 to 30. Definitely we can do manually, but over here I'm going to teach you some calculator tricks here. So if I want to list out the uh, set P here, this is what I will do. So I will ask myself, what is the equation for perfect square number? So basically perfect square number we know is the number like formed by the 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. So from the 1 square, 2 square, 3 square here, you should know they have the constant number of square, right? So square is a constant, but the number over here will change is a variable. So like 1, 2, 3 is a variable. So what I will do here is, I will go into the menu and then I look for table. So the table will be number 9. So I press enter and then over here, because I know the perfect square number, square is a constant, the 1, 2, 3 is a variable, so the variable I will use the x to represent it, x, and then I say x square. Alright, then I type enter, okay, if you want to straight away know the uh, perfect square number, you can ignore about gx, you just press enter one more time, and then over here, they ask you about uh, the the table range so the table range is the step is only one the table range can only like from 1 to 30 you cannot get any number bigger than 30 or else you will get the math error all right so maybe here i just just use 30 yeah you, you can use more number here it doesn't matter because you're not going to use so many but then if you use higher number here later you have choice uh for you to choose all right so over here's the step i will just put one because i want a number like one two three so the step is like one if i want a number like two, four, six, eight, then I, my, I will change my step to two. But over here, I will just use step as one here. So one basically means my num number for X will like start from one up to 30. Then I press enter again, then you should be able to see what do I mean here. All right, you can ignore about all the X here because X is just like follow the sequence from one to 30, nothing special. But the other side, this one will be the all the perfect square number I. I want so I no need to like type in the calculator one by one like one square two square three square and so on so I will just choose the number is less than 30 all right so then I will just insert all these numbers so the first number will be one then I will just say one and I'll copy the next one will be four and then the next one will be nine and then the next one will be 16 and then the next one will be 25 all right 25 and then the next one is 36 but because the universal set over here only stop at 30 so i will not take the 36 unless it stop at 40 then definitely i will include 36 then this is yeah this is all the set of my p if the question asks about number of p then what you need to do is you just need to like calculate how many number you have inside this set like example this one one two three four five then i will say i only have five element inside the set P over here. All right, then we will go to the Q over here. Okay, Q, they want a number which is like multiple of four here. So what we will do over here is, if I want to use this table uh, function, I will just press the AC. Okay, so I will just change this one into the 4X. Because 4x, you imagine when my x equals to 1, I'm, I'm getting 4. But when the x equals to 2, I will get 8. So I just tap enter. 
Okay, this one 1 to 30 is fine. Alright, so then I will have the number all listed over here. Then I'll just copy. So the number is multiple of 4, which is like 4, 8, 12, 16. And then, and then I ask myself, what is the next number? So I'll just copy all this number, 20. So I have 20, 24, 28. Alright, so definitely I know the next one is 32. It's more than 30 already. Then I will stop here. Alright, so remember to use this bracket, okay? So you cannot like simply use any bracket you like. So in set topic, you must use back the open bracket and close bracket like, like this. Alright, so if the question asks about what is the number of Q here, then you just calculate how many you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have 7 number. Alright, then for R here, it's a little bit complicated. Because R, they, they say they want a number when divided by 5, leave 2 as a remainder. Alright, so if, if you want me to give you an example, I will say uh, the number like 17. Example, right? So if the 17, I divided by 5, okay, you can see here, I will get 3, 15. And then I leave a remainder as 2. So I leave 2 as a remainder. So it's the same idea. Alright, right now, because we want to find a number like 17, so we ask ourselves, uh, how can we find a number like 17 here? Okay, so the logic is like this. If you want to get a 17, right, what you will do is, you will use the 5, multiply with 3, and then you will plus 2. Isn't it? You can see 5 multiply 3, you get 15. You plus 2, you get back 17. Alright, but because the divided by 5 and leave the remainder as 2 is the constant. Why I know both of these is a constant? Because this is the condition mentioned in the questions here. Leave the 2 as the remainder. So the 3 here, I can change. So if I change this 3 into the 2, so you just see what happened. 5 multiply 2 plus 2, which is 10 plus 2, which is 12. So 12 is the number we want. Because this number, if we divide by 5 and we plus 2, we basically we will get uh, the, rem the remainder 2 here. So like 12, you divide 5, you will get the remainder 2. This is what I mean here. So from, from this concept, I kind of get the idea. 5 is a constant, 2 is a constant. So I can change this one, it's, a, it's my variable. So if I want to insert over here, uh, what this is what I will do. I will just say 5x, because this, this is variable, right? 2 and 3 is a variable, so I will use x to represent my variable, plus 2. Right, then gx, I will just leave it blank. Right, then you can see over here, uh, I will straight away get all the answer I want here. So we don't need to actually like do one by one. So therefore, what I will do is, I will just copy all these number, uh, which is less than 30. I will copy like start from 7, 12, 17, 22, and then I will choose the next one will be 27. 27. So if the question asks me about what is my number of R, I will just calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I thought I have 5 here. Okay, you get the idea how to use. Okay, a lot of students might be curious why is half the GX over there? It's something like this. So so if I want to find something like P in the set Q, all right, so what is my P just now? My P is basically perfect square number, isn't it? So I will do X square for it. I will do X square because it's a perfect square number. So then my Q is basically is the multiple of four, right? Just now we do four X. So the good thing about this is you can key in like fx and gx this one will be your p is the fx gx will be your q then what i will do is because they ask about intercept right so i want to see is there any number that repeat so if the number you can see uh, at fx and gx over here basically is the intercept number so therefore for p intercept q then i just check it out like Okay, this is uh, F, GX, you see 4 here, FX, you also see 4, right? So definitely I know 4 is the number overlap here. And then, like, okay, then I will continue, and then I will see 16, because both of them also have 16. Then I know 16 is the 
in the set number. Definitely you can see from the uh from your working over here because you can see you have have the four here, you have the sixteen here, and then no more. So you basically you only have two of them. Yeah, definitely if in the exam you doesn't list it out, so you have the calculator, right? So you kind of can find find a common number at the calculator here. This is a reason why uh, you have two equation for you to compare here. So yeah, basically here I only have like two of them. So therefore, the question asks about, so what is the number P in the set Q? So it will be two only. All right, this one for part B, this is for part A. All right, and then the question also asks us to find uh, P in the set R. So P in the set R over here, if you want to use a calculator, you can do that. Yeah, or else you can just look at the table over here. So let's use a calculator and see what happens. Okay, so my P is X squared, so no need to change. And my R over here is 5X plus 2, isn't it? So I will do 5X plus 2. And again, you're trying to find the number they have in common. So yeah, so basically, if you see carefully, they don't have any number at common at all. So you see on the diagram over here, like, yeah, they don't have one, they don't have four, they don't have nine, and they don't have 16, and they don't have 25. So basically, it's the empty set. So you can say this, uh, you can draw the empty set like this, or you do the empty set like this, you draw this bracket and then leave the inside blank here, you don't write anything inside here. So, okay, you can choose either one of them. All right, so what is the number for P in the set R? It will be zero because it doesn't have any element uh, for P in the set R. All right, so I hope this video can at least help you to understand like how to use a table function in this topic. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher first you need to go in the shopee website and then at the search button over here you just tap casio you should be able to see something like search casio shop you click on it and then you should be able to see the casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the casio scientific calculator over here just in case you cannot see you can go into here search in shop over here you just tap 570ex and then the shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and you click on it and you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye